Hi everyone, my name is Yolanda. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be talking about dummy cakes. Dummy cakes are cakes uh, made out of styrofoam, which are made to really increase the number of cakes that you would like to be displayed. There are several types of styrofoam that you can use for that. I'm going to show you two types. This one is uh, a cheap one, it's very accessible, you can find them at any Walmart or maybe any AC Mall. But the downside of this is that it disintegrates when you wet it, when you uh, scrub it. So after you use it once, to use it one more time is going to be very difficult after you wash it because it disintegrates. It is not durable. However, it's very accessible. You could find this in any store that sells cake decorating materials. Another type is this one, which is more solid, it's more durable. This one you can wash, you can wet. After you apply the fondant or the buttercream, you can wash it and it'll last a long time. I use this type uh, all the time. The only thing about this is not very accessible to the public. You could find it in the internet, online, um, and unlike this one that you could find anywhere. I'll be using this one today. So before we even start um, covering our styrofoam with fondant, we first need to prepare our styrofoam. The first thing that we need to do is take our fondant smoother and smooth out the upper edge of the styrofoam. The edge needs to be smooth because when you apply the fondant over the styrofoam, the sharp edge will break through the fondant and it will uh, rip the fondant. So to avoid that, the edge needs to be smoothed out. This is very simple to do with our fondant smoother. We go around all the edge of the upper part of the styrofoam. Once that is done, we just dust off any particle or any residue of the side and the top of the styrofoam. Also, you need to be sure that none of the particles or residue uh, is on the counter or the surface that we are going to be rolling out our fondant. Next, using a brush, we are going to spray some piping gel around the, the uh, styrofoam. We will take care of the sides all around and also the top. This step is critical in that the piping gel will serve as a medium between the styrofoam and the fondant. And so this step is very important. Please be sure to take care of the um, bottom edge of the styrofoam on the side so that way you find that after this apply it will stick to the styrofoam. The next step would be to roll out my fondant. For that, I will need my cake dividing wheel. I will then take a, uh, a generous amount of vegetable shortening and spread it all over the plastic. Or if you don't have a cake dividing wheel, you could spread it over the surface where you will be rolling out your fondant. The vegetable shortening will also serve as a medium between the fondant and the styrofoam. 
Once we cover the styrofoam with this fondant, since the vegetable shortening has adhered to the back of the fondant, then the fondant will adhere to the styrofoam easily. So it's very important that we do not miss this step. But before we cover our styrofoam with fondant, we need to find out how big of a, a circle of fondant we are going to cut. So to find that out, the, the formula is you will take the length of the top of the styrofoam and then you will add it to the length of the height of the styrofoam multiplied by 2. In this case, the height of the styrofoam is 4 inches multiplied by 2 is 8 and then I will add 8 inches that is the diameter of the top meaning that my circle needs to be 16 inches 16 inches in diameter so now I am ready to roll out my fondant I will roll it out to a thickness of uh, 1 16th of an inch and the diameter should be 16 inches so I will roll it out until I acquire or I reach those numbers always rolling out my fondant from the center out I'm almost finished rolling out my fondant, cutting away the excess and making sure that my circle is at least 16 inches in diameter. So also before I cover my styrofoam, I need to find out if there is any air bubbles uh, in between the, uh, the fondant. So what I do is I just go like this with my hands all over the fondant, smoothing out the fondant and I, at the same time just feeling for any air bubbles. If there is any air bubbles, I will take a needle or a pin and I will just pop the air bubble in a diagonal fashion. This one does not have any air bubbles, so now I am dusting the surface with cornstarch and powdered sugar. That way when I uh, put my roller in the center to fold my fondant, then the fondant will not stick to the roller. So now I will take the styrofoam and I just need to be sure that the fondant is going to fall in place in the proper place so that the styrofoam will be covered. Have to make sure I have to look for a precise angle where I could just drop the fondant over the styrofoam and I just found that angle. So I just let the fondant roll out nice and easy onto the styrofoam. So this is the fun part. I really love this part. A lot of people, they do not like it because the fondant always break when they do it. The key here is not to pull down the fondant. You need to press the fondant against the styrofoam, in this case, 
or against the cake if you were covering a cake. If you need to open the skirt, you will do that just to uh, accommodate the fondant against the size of the cake or the styrofoam. I really like to emphasize that the fondant should not be pulled because when you do that, you tear it. As you accommodate the fondant, as you press it down, it will find its way to just fall into place. You see how I am doing with the skirt? I open up the skirt and then I press against the sides of the styrofoam. Watch the movement of my head. This might take you a few minutes if you are not used to doing this, but once you know how to do this, I promise this will be a fast process. We almost done. Okay, and look, that's it. We did it. There is no tear on the fondant. Everything is nice and smooth. So now I will take my fondant smoother. First, I will going to uh, just put a little bit of cornstarch on powdered sugar, so that way my smoother does not stick to the fondant. Just soften the edges and smooth the edges, okay? This is all it takes, just patience. Alright, now I am going to cut some of the excess. Not all of it, but I'm going to cut some of the excess first. And then what I will do, I will push the the skirt that skirt and i'm going to push it against the styrofoam you could do it against the cake if you were covering a cake by doing this this the um fondant will adhere even better to the edge of the styrofoam or the cake so you need to push in the skirt against the styrofoam now it's very smooth there is no tear so now I will take my cutter and I will cut almost in a vertical position my cutter is but I have to make sure that the cutter does not touch the side of the cake as I cut being very careful and not rushing you need to take your time to do this especially if you are new in doing this covering with fondant so just take it easy take your time and it'll be perfect and there so we remove the excess Okay, and our styrofoam is covered. We now have a dummy cake. We will now take our fondant smoother or smoothers. If you have two smoothers, fondant smoothers, you could use both of them. We just don't want our fingerprints to be imprinted on the cake. That's why we use two fondant smoothers. But if you have one, just be very careful when you place your hands over the fondant so that way the fondant does not get your fingers impression on it. And that's it. We have covered and smoothed out our 
dummy cake and we are now ready to decorate it. All right, so here is the proof that yes, we can make a dummy cake with a piece of styrofoam and make it look as though it is a cake that we created from scratch. As you can see here, after I covered the styrofoam with fondant, I went on to pipe uh, ruffles out of buttercream with using tip 125, I piped vertical ruffles and I also added some dry um, flowers that I have made with royal icing, as you can see here. But you can give it any decoration that you want. Um, it, since it's usually uh, to increase the number of the cakes, so you will take, I guess, your main cake, and according to that decoration, then you will decorate the uh, dummy cakes. This has been all for today. I thank you for watching. I hope that you share this video with others. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next week with another tutorial. Thanks, and God bless you.